Have you heard this story? It sounds like it is probably out of place in the modern era, but members of the Norwegian beach ball, uh, vo- volleyball team have been fined 1,500 euros for refusing to play in, in the bikini bottoms. Um, it's it's not just that uh, that's in and of itself a bit mad, but what was said to them in, in being fined was that they need to wear the right uniform, both for reasons of performance, but for reasons of maintaining the attractiveness of the sport. And I have to say, Vincent, I, I was fuming when I saw this. I, mm. I genuinely was, and I don't, I don't get overly excited every time there's some, you know, passing thing that happens a, a, about women. But this is a gross insult to those athletes, those women athletes who have no doubt worked very hard training to get, you know, to become members of their national team, and then being told, no, no, girls, that's all very well and good for you to perform and be, you know, sportsmen and sportswomen and all of that, but also you have to look attractive and and like. You know, we've become very good at calling out things like racism and and saying that it has no place in society and has no place in sport. But we seem to be much more, in my view, behind the houses about calling out sexism. This is an insult to those women. And and you know what? I think they should take the knee. I think I think it is unacceptable that female athletes, professional athletes are are patronised in that way. And if you see what the blokes were, they were loose baggy shorts down to their knees and tank tops and the girls are in crop tops and knickers they're basically in bikinis and if that isn't about something prurient and voyeuristic I don't know what it is but this is an awful message I I, I, I can't even I usually have like laugh and joke about you know when we chat about these kind of things but this is just insulting and awful